another one of these. I'll right click and do an add selected to drop it in. Now the new one that I've placed is the wrong size. I want to adjust it to be a little bit smaller. Well, I can grab these grips and I can type in the right width, which is like a two foot door. Or as part of your door style, so I'll right click and do an edit door style, I can put in standard sizes. So this is kind of nice. I can come in here and say, well, I need a, uh, let's say, we'll start with two, four, six, eight. So the width is going to be two foot four. And the height, we'll just do 80 inches, a little easier to type. So there's my first standard size. Let's add a couple more. So this is going to be 2668, 80 inches of height, <clears throat> and uh, 30 inches of width. And let's add another one, just so we have a few to pick from. 2868, 32 inches, and 80 inches. Now, the description is whatever you want it to be. You may not call out your doors this way. That's fine. You can put in whatever you want it to be. So there's some default sizes. We'll press OK. And now that I have those default sizes programmed in, I can grab these end grips. And you see those lines? I can snap right to those sizes. So very quickly, I can get to a 2-4 door or a 2-8 door, whatever I need. All right, so I mentioned earlier that you want to be able to tag these doors. It's just like how I tagged the uh, frame, framing members and generated the schedule earlier. Well, maybe you want to tag the door and actually have the tag reflect the size of the door. So if the size changes, then that tag is going to update automatically. Well, AutoCAD architecture comes with door tags. So let's go ahead and grab one that's already done and modify it. So under the documentation tool and tags, here's a door tag. And there's a few of them, but we'll just grab this one. And we'll select the door and place the tag. Now it's going to place based on the current scale of the file, which is probably just a little bit big for this demonstration. So we'll switch to a quarter inch. Now this tag may not be what you want to see. Um, again, you may want it to reflect that door size right on the plan because you're not generating a separate schedule. Well, modifying that is actually pretty easy. This tag is just an AutoCAD block underneath, if that makes sense. So if I explode it once, this is an AutoCAD block. If I explode it again, there's another AutoCAD block. So it's, it's kind of nested in there a little bit. But two explodes will get you to it. So that's the AutoCAD block. Now I want to modify that block. So I'll right click and do an edit block in place. This is the default name for the block. Now, I highly suggest that you go in and customize the names for these when you're doing your modif modifications, uh, just so you don't have multiple names with different definitions. But for this example, I'm not going to take the time to do that. I'm going to go ahead and just modify the default names. All right, so this is the block. And these are the block attributes that are associated with it. What these attributes do is they attach data to that component. Just like I mentioned earlier with the framing member, uh, these attributes define which data gets attached. Now this larger attribute here defines what is actually shown inside that circle. So we can modify that. And I'm going to go ahead and delete the circles because we just want text. And the door objects colon number, what is that exactly? Well, that's what's called a property set definition. And I'll show you that real quickly. From the Manage tab, I can go to my Style Manager. And in the file that I'm in, I can go into Documentation Objects. This is all of the content. Well, this is management of all of the content that comes with AutoCAD Architecture. And under the Documentation category, we have these property set definitions. You can think of these as many databases that get attached to anything. So just like attributes as associated with blocks, that's kind of what these are. These are the attributes. And they can be associated with anything. And you can set them up to be anything you want. This is just the interface for doing it. So the one it's currently using is called door objects. And I'll just pull this out of the way so you can see it. So there's door objects. And then it's saying from door objects, it's showing number. So if I look through the list of items in door objects, one of them is number. <clears throat> so there's number right there. Well, I want it to show door size. So all I have to do is double click on that attribute and change that value number to door size. And then the prompt and the, the uh, default, this isn't really going to matter because it's going to come directly from the door, but you can change it if you want. 
All right, now that I've made the modifications to that, and I don't need to modify anything else for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and save changes to that block. And now, let's place a new one. You can do a uh, reload or refresh of the file to get this uh, to show the right stuff. But I'm just going to replace those and get rid of the other one. Because remember, the other one's a block. It was a double nested block, so I just want to place a new one to get past that. Okay, so now it's showing me door size, but it's actually putting in 2 feet, 4 inches, 6 foot, 8 inches. And quite often we want to simplify that to 2, 6, 6, 8, or you know, something like that. Well, you can leave it like this, which is nice, or you can go back and get a little more detailed. So let's go back to our Manage ribbon and our Style Manager and our documentation objects and property set definitions. I'm going to go into door objects. And for door size, this is an automatic value that's showing door size in a certain way. I want to modify that. So I'll just double click on it. And these are all of the different automatic values. So this is information that I can pull from the door automatically. It's just information that the product, the application, knows about these doors. Well, one of the things that it knows is the standard size description. So you remember when I input those different sizes and I gave them a description? Well, I can tell it to show that description. And let's do a uh, refresh here. There we go. So here we've refreshed the screen to show the change. So that's the description of the size that's assigned to this door. If I change the size of the door, and my O snaps off. Then you can see that size updates. So that's a really cool way to start using objects, start getting productivity out of the AutoCAD architecture application. Again, without turning your world upside down. This is you can still draft and work very much like you have inside AutoCAD for a long time, but just add some additional tools to make your life a little bit easier. All right, let's look at a little bit with uh, finished plan.